What's up everybody, Corey here yet again. Uh, it's been a very long time, but today we're jumping into the old computer and I'm gonna teach you how to take a hex code, turn it into a Pantone. We've done this before, but Adobe Illustrator maybe saw our video and wanted to cause problems. So, no more problems, everything's fixed, we're jumping into it, we'll see you there. Okay, we're doing this lightning speed round, okay guys? No, no wasting time. We're jumping into here. You wanna take a, a hex code, you wanna make it a Pantone. I'm gonna show you how to do it. We'll swing on over to the computer. This is my Illustrator file, and uh, we got this cool design, but what colors are these? We got some red, we got some gold. But we're just gonna highlight this whole thing. Command C, we're copying it, and we're jumping over to Photoshop. We used to be able to do this in Illustrator, then they kinda took that feature away from us, so we have to do it in Photoshop now. I just pasted the design uh, in Photoshop here are your colors and we're gonna hit the letter I for our color picker and I'm just gonna select just that that red section I'm gonna go up here this little buddy right there in the little color box double click on that we're gonna go right here it says color libraries you see this guy slap that button and uh, you're gonna have this little drop-down menu up here and what I'm gonna go do uh, we can choose solid coded or solid uncoated with the, the Pantone Plus. You don't want to mess with the CMYK or any of that stuff. So you're going to choose uh, solid coated or solid uncoated versus uh, what type of ink you're working with if you're doing screen printing. If you're working with water-based ink, then you're going to want to do uncoated because uh, it has a bit more of a matte finish and it's not glossy. If you're working with Plastisol, you're going to do coated, which kind of is a shinier and has a bit more of a gloss to it. Uh, let's say we're doing water-based with this design, so I'm going to click uncoated and it's uh, giving me the Pantone of 485U. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna go on a notebook or something. I'm gonna write that down, 485U. Uh, and I'm also gonna go and grab the trusty uh, Pantone book and I'm gonna look through that and make sure that that's the right color and that it looks accurate. And then rinse and repeat, baby. Jump back into old Photoshop. We're gonna grab our color picker with the letter I. And we're just gonna click on the little gold section double click up here, color libraries, and we still got the uncoded pulled up, and it's recommending uh, 124U, and hit OK, that sounds great, 124U, write that down. Again, we're gonna jump into our Pantone book, we're gonna check the color to make sure it looks right, uh, and if it does, then cool, we've now chosen Pantone colors. It's pretty easy, all we're doing, hopping into Photoshop, grabbing the color picker, going uh, to our color libraries, choosing our Pantone. It's right there, it tells you. I've made this video before, but it was in Adobe Illustrator. They kind of put a paywall for some reason in front of uh, being able to choose Pantones in Illustrator, so they haven't done that in Photoshop, so now, this video is being made because the last one I made was slightly irrelevant now. Hopefully this made sense for you. Hopefully uh, you learned something today with this bite-sized, quick and simple video. And uh, hopefully you're choosing beautiful Pantones. We'll see you there. We'll see you in the air and we'll arf on you later, little doggies. Arf!